Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Trailhead Ranger NJ and we are doing this video today to complete the JavaScript Developer Certification Maintenance course for the summer 25. So in case you are having a JavaScript Developer 1 certificate, so there might be a chance that you are due for this maintenance course and if you are, you might be receiving email for that or you can check that out in your Trailhead profile as well. In your trailer, trailer profile where you can see the list of certification, you can go there and for the certifications for which the maintenance is due, you can see the complete maintenance button in front of them. So in case you are seeing the same button for the JavaScript developer one, you can just click on it and uh, on that complete maintenance button and you will land on this page. I will also paste the link of this course in the description box as well so you can refer there directly. So let's get started. We are having two units in this. First is maintain your JavaScript developer certification on summer. Uh, sorry for summer 25. So in this they have introduced just to few features which they have introduced for this JavaScript for the lightning web components. So I'll briefly cover those. So first of all that we can develop the LWCs with the TypeScript developer preview now. So for that we can include the TypeScript uh, definition such as Salesforce Lightning types but for that we need to enable few features or insert few features in our project as well so that I'll introduce you to and for this TypeScript, uh, TypeScript is nothing but a superset of a JavaScript which enhances the developer productivity and the code quality through the features like build time, uh, time type checking which even helps us to identify the errors early and improve the code reliability as well. So there are some uh, considerations as well that we need to be mindful about the decorator. So to work around those decorator, we need to add these TS ignore or the TS expect error directly above any line we are using a direct uh, decorator. And for this LWC, if we want to add the TypeScript support to our LWC project. So what we need to do, we need to follow these four or five steps for our project so first of all we need to create uh, this dot settings.json file in our project and after uh, creating that file we need to add the following setting to enable it that is the typescript support true after adding this we need to save this file after saving this settings.json automatically tsconfig.json file will be created in our lwc folder so after that file is created we can configure the TypeScript compiler in that file. For that in that file we need to make sure that compiler options are there and for that experimental decorators is configured as false or it could be true as well as per, as per your requirement. Now after this we need to install the TypeScript and the lightning type. So for that you can run these, uh, uh, you can run these uh, statements or uh, uh, you know uh, yeah so you can run these then after this uh, we need to use the type definition that is that salesforce lightning types in our uh, file we need to import that uh, similar to this statement and it will create a salesforce.d.ts file under a types folder in our project and uh, then we, we need to reference this file in our uh, tsconfig.json as well as this so that it can reference our file and then we need to convert and compile our components so for that we need to rename the components.js to .ts and run the typescript compiler from the command line so that's how we can uh, run the ts uh, or the typescript file in our projects now and there is one more feature for us available that is uh, local dev so local dev allows us to view or develop the lightning web components faster in a real time preview so earlier what we had to do we had to every time deploy the code to the org and then see the changes but now local dev will allow us to preview those changes real time without having the code to be deployed or to the org so this is available in the local lightning experience apps environment uh, experience cloud lwr sites and the single component preview so for these status is like this uh, like uh, lightning experience app is generally available for spring 25 plus and it will be supported on the desktop as well as the mobile apps for the experience cloud lwr sites uh, that's the beta feature available for us 
and the uh, site must be published before running site preview and the single component preview also beta summer 25 is available and it is only for the simple components now if we come to some of the limitation and consideration for this so local dev for the lightning web component supports only the lwcs but not the aura components and it does not even allow the previews of the landing pages and the single component previews are limited to the simple component which don't use the wire adapters or the platform modules and on the plus side local dev can no longer save the builds as static resources so it won't even affect our org static resource limits so these are some of the things you need to be mindful about and if you want to start with the local dev what you can do you need to install the cli salesforce command line interface and as this feature is currently available only through the CLI, so you need to install the local dev plugin as well and then enable the local dev for your project. So that will allow you to start with your local dev. Uh, so that's it for this one. And then we have learned about the bind HTML classes with the object or the array syntax. So if we will go with the here, some of the examples are present here. So there's a difference of these two versions 62 and 61. So in case you are having a string of note and highlight, then the in 61 class will appear as note highlight and in 62 same as well. For the boolean uh, keyword false, in 61 version false class will be appear but in the 62 it will be empty. Similarly for the number 10. Similarly for the function empty, uh, in uh, 61 it will appear like this but in 62 version it will be appear as empty. So you can go through this and you will get the basic understanding of it. So we can say that the behavior uh, of the version 62 is slightly deferred for the boolean number and the other non-string types uh, as of the version 61. So then they have given this example to us. Now let's come to the quiz. Our first question is how can you enable the TypeScript support in a Lightning Web Component project using Visual Studio Code. First option is add TypeScript support root to your project's package.json. Second option is set the experimental decorators true in the tsconfig.json. Third option is enable the TypeScript via the Salesforce setup UI. And the last one is add the Salesforce DX VS Studio LWC.preview.typescript support true to the VS code settings.json file. So D option should be the correct one. Second question is which environment supports a local dev for real time previewing of Lightning Web components? First option is Salesforce Classic. Second is Aura components in the Lightning experience. Third option is Lightning experience apps on desktop and mobile. Last option is Salesforce setup menu. So C option should be the correct one. Last question is what is the result of using the object visible true hidden false to bind classes in LWC API 62 version. So first option is class true false. Second option is class visible. Third option is class visible hidden. And the last one is class visible comma true. So B option should be the correct one as per the document they have given to us. Let's check the quiz. And it is correct. Let's move on to the next unit. So basically the next unit is uh, putting the HTML class binding into the practice. So it is a uh, kind of a hands-on practice. So what we'll do is we'll go to the new tab and first of all we'll download the uh, Salesforce sorry Lightning Studio extension and I'll click on the first option then click on add to chrome add extension and it is added I'll close this and then for completing this or we need to follow these steps first so we need to create a lighting web component hello world so I'll go here uh, yeah sorry I'll just launch the org then in the org I'll go to the extension list and uh, click on lightning studio after clicking on lightning studio I can click here click on new component enter the component name and then click on is exposed to we need that then we need the target configuration as lightning app page, lightning home page, lightning record page, 
API version, let's keep it as it is. Master label will be uh, Hello World itself. Then I'll click on Deploy. After clicking on Deploy, its HTML file is open. So uh, I'll just uh, go to this again and with the instruction of the trailhead playground so first is in the hello world.html change the disk class to be the computed from hello worlds.js so here this is the class name i'll copy this go to the html and i can just replace all of this with this class name and i'll save this and i'll save that then i'll go to the js file and then next instruction and uh, then uh, the next instruction says that in the get computed class names we need to add the following items to return the array yeah i'll click save and do the save and it is being deployed after it is deployed i'll go back to the org and let's try to check for the challenge This is the easiest way you can uh, utilize the Lightning Studio to make a LWC component for the playground. Otherwise, you can go by the Visual Studio code as well. But for that, you have to link that to your play. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it is done. So we are done with this module. And we have learned about the new TypeScript feature and how we can bind the classes as well. So if you learn something with me and like the video, please like it and subscribe the channel and stay tuned for more. Thank you.